Right, well, we've arrived, and um, I did do a video when we arrived, but all the children, they was, um, well, the boys were just in their pants. Harper had her pyjama top on and her pants, her knickers on, so although I did video it, I'm not going to put it up on YouTube. Um, and this is Evie, and it seems that her and Kobe are now the best of friends. Um, we introduced them about an hour ago, and they've been out in the back garden playing like lunatics. And the other boy, uh, we put him in the other room in the cage for now, just in case um, Kobe's met him and Kobe's friendly towards him, but he's not friendly towards Kobe. So, I thought it was best to separate them, didn't we, Jai? And the, um, the other dog, there's a bit of a story to it, which I'll brief through. Um, there's a traveller, gypsies, live down the road, permanently. They're nice people. I mean, I come from gypsy stock, so... And uh, my son was saying a long while ago that he wanted a, a dog... And um, and they turned up on the doorstep yesterday with the uh, Springer Spaniel. But it's not good with the kids. Um, on the first day, uh, yesterday, when it was here, it was... Well, they didn't just turn up on the doorstep because my daughter-in-law said, well, we've got a dog now. No, 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 I'll do this one. And they just let it loose in the house. I said, no, look, they get on fine. And then drove off, <laughs> which is a typical scenario. So, um, Jai ended up with a black and white dog. Plus the one that she got last week, Evie, yeah. Anyway, um, the black and white one, which doesn't have a name, I've been calling it Dog. Um, it went for Jai earlier on today, showed its teeth. So, that's no good around kids, is it? So she's taking it back down to their travellers' site. Gypsy site. Well, they're not travellers, they're gypsies. They're proper gypsies. And, um, yeah, Kobe and Evie, as you can see, are the best of friends. So uh, I did do a video when I arrived. And all the kids were really pleased to see me. But like I say, because they had their um, pyjama... Well, the boys, they just had their pants on. I mean, why shouldn't they have their own home? Their own home? And um, Harrison had his nappy on and James has his pants on and Harper had her pant knickers on and a pyjama top. So although I did a video for my sake, um, I don't intend to put it up on the internet. So just to let you know that we arrived safely... I'll put up a picture of the, um, we start, I started off, uh, me and Kobe started off just before dusk at the end of the day. And by the time we arrived, it was dusk. So I'll put that video up before this one. And uh, kids are in bed. What was it 11 o'clock at night now? Half past 11 at night. I'm shattered. Jai's shattered. Don't know what we're going to do about all these dogs because... I've bought the cage in and uh, I never lock Kobe in the cage. The cage door's always open. I call him his room. I always say to him, go to your room. Um, but the black and white dog's in there at the moment, dog. And um, he's not too happy about it. He's moaning a lot. So he's complaining. So I don't know what to do about him because one minute he's friendly and then he's not friendly. But he's only young. So you can hear him barking. He's not happy about being in there. Not happy at all. It's a shame. He's a lovely little dog. But um, I think Jai got it right. I think what's happened is she said that the lady down the lane, um, nice lady, um, the lady down the lane, I don't think you can see him. I don't want to say the light on again. He's a lovely dog. Um, the lady down the lane has got a brown and white 
cock spaniel and um, she wants to mate so we reckon what's happened is she's got this dog and then she's got children herself and then she's realised it ain't friendly with children it's not friendly with children and um, and it's temperamental and she's bought it up here and numbered it on giant but you can't have a dog like that with little kids and you can't train it Jai can't train it you know she can't look after three kids and train two dogs and I can't take it because it's a dog apart from that I'm locked down here for the next six weeks so I can't take it away so either take it can you hear him either take it back to the site tomorrow or um, keep it for the well, keep it, and it's not realistic to keep it. Not, not with little children. Not if it, not if it's showing its teeth and going for you. That's can't do it, can you? And it's not happy about being in that cage. So, um, yeah, that's it. Bye from me, me, and John, me. Oh, the door's gone. And me. <laughs> I've got to cut my fringe. Me. I know I look like a nun, do I've got my mask, look. Nurse Norris. Oh, look, it's all torn now. Right. Oh, God. It's inside out. Okay, you wouldn't want me to do an operation on you, would you? Hey. <laughs> Where's his head? <laughs> No, it's a bit torn up now, but I did have a mask on. So it improves my looks, look. And my fringe, I keep... I want to dry it out. And it gets this long, and I cut it. So this time I'm trying to persevere. So, um... Love you lots. Love yourselves even more. Lots of love, Rose. Love you lots. Thanks for doing it for me. And, uh... You made me feel brave about going on the internet. And there's loads of earthquakes going on and volcanoes going off to everyone, just in case you didn't know. So go and listen to Rose Biss, R-O-S-E, Biss, B-I-S-S, and um, she'll tell you four times, five times a day how many volcanoes are going off and how many earthquakes they are. And it's well worth listening to. So good night from me and good night from Joe. And... Uh, Bye-bye. Oh, and the dogs. <laughs>